Hyundai have been working for a long time now on the Ionic 5 N performance version of that car. It's like the Kia EV6 GT, but the performance version. Now we all thought yeah, it'll be similar to the EV6 GT, but actually it turns out it's not. There's a reason Hyundai haven't revealed the car yet because it has some kind of new battery pack changes, which will enable the car to do more range and possibly to have even more power than what we thought it actually would. That's pretty impressive. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans, and thank you so much for supporting my GoFundMe campaign. Really wanted to say a big, massive thank you to everyone. It means so much to us that you would support the whole cancer situation. It's been pretty crazy, and without your help, we wouldn't be here where we are now. So thank you very much. You might have already seen this car because Top Gear in the UK tested the Ionic 5N on a frozen lake in the Arctic Circle ahead of the electric crossover's confirmed public debut at the Goodwood Festival of Speed in the middle of July. So we've still got a few months to go before we finally see it in the flesh. After dancing on ice to test the new dedicated drift mode, the magazine's senior road test editor, Ollie Q, chatted with Albert Beerman about the first N model without a combustion engine and touched on electric performance cars in general. Now, I would recommend you watch the interview, but I don't really because it was a bit dry, a bit boring, kind of the way Top Gear have become recently, or at least since Jeremy Clarkson, James May, and Richard Hammond all left the show. I feel like it's, it's not as fun to watch. What are your thoughts on that? Let me know. The former BMW M boss and previously in charge of Hyundai Motor Group's R&D was asked why people should buy an Ionic 5N instead of the regular model or instead of something else. The executive technical advisor said the range penalty will not be significant, meaning adding an extra motor, making it all-wheel drive, giving it you know more hardcore suspension, etc., is not going to make a big difference because the speedy electric crossover will have a bigger battery pack capacity, but it won't be a bigger pack. It'll be in the same size pack. So somehow Hyundai have been able to increase the pack energy density. Now the battery is going to be the same size as the current 77.4 kilowatt hour pack, but have more energy density, therefore, of course, more range, which is a big plus. In my opinion, range matters more than performance in an electric car. I don't know about you, but that's what I think. He mentioned it's going to use the next generation battery technology from Hyundai that they've been working on now for a while and that will allow the spicy N version to be only a little bit behind the standard model's range. As a reminder, EPA has rated the 2022 Ionic 5 all-wheel drive with a range of 256 miles, which is 412 kilometers on a single charge. The real drive long range model is the thriftiest as in it has the best range with 303 miles which is 488 kilometers now to give you some context on this the base model the tesla model y the one that you guys get in the us right the all-wheel drive version with 4680 cells and a structural battery pack that has 280 miles of range compared to the ionic 5's base model which has 256 miles of range. The only thing is the Model Y is cheaper, so it's definitely worth considering right now. However, this new model will really compete not against the standard range Model Y, but against the performance version of the Model Y. And clearly, Hyundai want to one-up Tesla. They want to have a better car than the Model Y performance. Will they? Well, I think they've been specifically working on its track performance. If you're talking about track performance, it probably will have better track performance than a Tesla Model Y which will be really good. The reason being, a lot of journalists are gonna compare this to say the performance N versions, the gasoline versions, the petrol powered N versions of the cars. And they're gonna say, well, actually this is better. So all these people who are right into petrol and gasoline cars, we're probably gonna see these reviews and go, oh, okay, I'll consider that one. That's what I think could happen. Albert Bierman, who has been working on the car and used to work at Audi, told Top Gear that EV horsepower wars are getting started and will go fully crazy in the future. The Ionic 5N is expected to have roughly 600 horsepower or more than the 576 horsepower of the Kia EB6 GT. In the long run, there will be a similar but smaller zero emission N model as well. 
Meanwhile, the Ionic 5N arriving soon is getting thicker steering wheel and specific seats, rear wiper, different suspension. Torque is expected to increase significantly as well, with OliQ saying it'll have around 600 pound feet of torque or 816 newton meters sounds like a lot but there are quite a few electric cars with even more than that so that would give it though more power and torque versus the kia ev6 gt we're talking 740 newton meters in the kia ev6 gt so it should have around about 76 newton meters more torque probably around about 30 horsepower more as well i don't know how kia is going to feel about this i mean really it's a direct competitor to the kia ev6 gt the you know, similar cars from the same parent company, kind of the same anyway. There's no word on price, but I'm sure it's going to be significantly more expensive than a standard Ionic 5. Will it be around the same price as a Kia EV6 GT? I'm going to guess it will be in that ballpark. So if you're in a country where the EV6 GT is for sale, that's an approximate price of the end. It might be slightly more expensive considering it will have that more efficient battery pack with more range, and of course, a bit more power and torque. Personally, I much prefer the Ionic 5 versus the Kia EV6. I think it's the better car out of the two of them, but those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments and whether or not you would get one of these, the Model Y Performance, and around the same price versus an Ionic 5N. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.